What is up, pal fam? Welcome to our countdown to FIDE 100. What are we going to do in the FIDE 100? Is we're going to count... Find, rather, find the best games of the year from 1924 up until 2024. So, today, April 11 is 1924. Which means, which is 100 days. And when it's April 12, we're featuring a 19... The game that I've selected in 1925 and so on until we reach the year 2024 on July 20 which is the International Chess Day as well as the FIDE 100th birthday that's right FIDE is turning 100 and we are joining FIDE and as Paul Pau and or as well as the chess world by Paul Pau my name is Paul Emanuel Labradas aka Paul Pau I've been playing chess tournaments since then, since like 2019, and I'm still on a bit of a struggle, so yeah. Let's try to find things out, what is going to happen in this 1924. So we're having a, currently we have a hundred days to go before International Chess Day on July 20 and FIDE's 100th birthday. Here we have a night, a game I chose in the year 1924. Jose Raul Cabablanca playing against Savielli Tarakower. The arrow you've seen is that's if the arrow pointed you is Jose Cabablanca that's on the left and Savielli Tarakower is on the right. So Cabablanca is playing white and Tarakower is playing black as usual. Okay. Here we have a chess position, a starting chess position, and we're needing a little bit of assistance from Stockfish because I have no idea yet. I'm still not a grandmaster yet, so we're gonna need a bit of an assistance and let's see what will happen. Okay, so the game begins with d4, something usual, and Tarakawa moves e6. Hmm, never. I've seen those before, but yeah, most of the games I've seen those, but not much. And white goes. Oh. Pros. That's the problem. Knight f3. Okay. And black goes f5. I've never seen this before. Doing f5 and e6 at the be very beginning. Okay, so moving on with c4, just some usual, like Queen's Gambit or something, but there's no d4, d5. Knight f6, bishop g5, bishop e7. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, so it's still like usual, but yeah. If it maybe goes, oh, yeah, we're having a little bit of problems, you already know. Okay. Let's just try to remove this. That should work. Okay. Bishop b4 check. Attacking the king on here and it white can go here, here or even here, here. And but black cannot do like this because it's queen, you know. So yeah, it, you cannot do like that. Knight c3. After bishop e7, there's knight c3. And then black decides to castle and goes e3. It's a bit unusual that I've seen, but as they say, you have to control the center and all the stuff. The an analyst has said it was the better move is g3, b6, Bishop g2, bishop b7. Castles, knight e4. Knight takes. Bishop takes. h4 and knight c6. Um, yeah. I can see 
bishop diagonal are well placed so it can attack or encounter most of the pieces but let's go back g3 b6 bishop g2 okay bishop b7 trying to do like this as well but white decides to castle and then knight e4 okay that's the idea uh, I think I have an idea when it goes knight d4. Let's create threat as arrow and threat as arrow. Let's enable this. I haven't enabled this in a while. Okay. Knight e4. Yeah. Because there's a threat of bishop takes g5 right there. And then it also goes like this. So... It's a bit dangerous. And black can go just like this. Okay. Knight e4. Good threat. Knight takes. Bishop takes. h4. Knight c6. Good thing he doesn't do this because of the double pawn. Okay, let's go back to the main line, e3, and then b6. Okay, bit unusual. Bishop d3, bishop b7, castles, queen e8, and queen e2. Okay, queen e2 is fine, but let's see what, what was his idea. What, what was his idea about that? Let's just wait for a bit. I think I've knew those. But the analysis goes bishop takes, bishop takes, e4, g6, rook e1, bishop g7, queen d2, knight c6, e takes, and g takes. Or g takes, okay. So bishop takes, it's not rook takes it's not rook takes it's bishop takes and it could better not be g takes f6 because you already know by now bishop takes f6 e4 g6 rook e1 bishop g7 queen d2 knight c6 and then they exchange knight e4 bishop e7 and then Tarakower decided to do this, knight takes c3, with the idea of doing this, which actually happened. But the engine says to queen takes e7, rook a c1, c5, rook f d1, knight takes c3, b takes, bishop takes, queen takes, and all the stuff full of Ex exchanging yeah so bishop or b takes c3 rather causes a doubled pawn yeah doubled pawn which is a bit in trouble for white Capablanca is a little bit in trouble but we'll see what will the game go Queen e7, a4, bishop takes, queen takes, knight c6, rook f b1, rook f b1. Wow. Just trying to, like, let's just say, wait. I've got an idea about this, but rook f b1 is ab actually fine. Hmm. Huh. But e4, f takes, queen takes. Okay, queen takes trying to go queen h7 as a threat. threat. So, tries to block it with g6, g6, h4, rook a e8, rook a e1. 
King G7, Queen G4, and Queen D6. Let's see what will the engine say about this. So white is in a little bit of an advantage. Okay. Good enough. Let's exit it. Okay, let's go back with Rook AE8, Queen H3, Rook F6, F4, Knight A5, and Queen F3. And then in the variation goes C5, G3, G6, E4, F takes, Queen takes, Rook F F8, Rook A2, and Rook C8. Okay, he's trying to. If in that event that if goes pawn takes and he goes pawn takes, not. Yeah, it wasn't. But if pawn takes, pawn takes, there might be like, um knight in here and if goes bishop and here that would have been a lose by one point for white okay let's proceed with rook e1 queen d7 e4 f takes queen takes g6 g3 king f8 king g2 rook f7 h4 and d5 but if knight takes Bishop takes and d5. So, what I've realized here, he sacrificed the knight and then white freely takes it and then he goes d5, attacking bishop and the queen. Bishop b5, d takes e4. So, bishop takes. So bishop b5, he attempts to do the exchange. So, yeah, let's see. Rook takes and rook e4. Mm -hmm. So let's proceed. But c takes d5, e takes, and queen takes d8, sacrificing the queen. Well, when queen takes and rook takes and king takes, and yeah, it's still an equal trade that we've seen. H5, rook f6, h6, h takes, rook h1, king f8. Okay, like, I've seen this x changing the pawns and then rook h1. Trying to threat on rook, on rook to h8. But this might be too early, but... At least rook h7 have the backup. Okay. King f8, rook h7, rook h7. It is rook h7 and not rook h8. Trying to take the pawn on c7. And the threat for black is rook c6. It actually happens. g4. There's no choice for this pawn to be saved. But the better variation is rook d7. So that if if let's see the main line main variation knight c4 king h3 knight b2 uh-huh bishop c2 knight c4 king h4 knight d2 bishop d3 and knight e4 it's still white in the in the lead but let's see after rook d7 there would be like exchange here and exchange here, but it cannot because of rook takes e3. So after rook takes, it it could be bishop takes g6. But the problem with bishop takes d6, it goes, I can believe it better like go here and rook takes d5 and there. Okay, let's go back. Knight c4. A bad move as they say if 
if white goes on knight b3 and then king f king f3 no it's not king f3 king f2 g5 sacrificing a pawn to do a double pawn for white rook takes c3 bishop f5 knight takes d4 rook d7 and c6 Ooh. now the position is equal but white can just freely capture this but and let's see if we can go like rook f3 and he cannot take this because it's protected by this pawn okay g5 oh okay it's still a bad move so king f2 knight b2 knight b2 trying to attack this bishop and let's see with bishop c2 a6 rook d7 b5 a takes a takes rook takes and rook takes c3 now the position is still equal but later on it goes he can go bishop here and then knight check and there we should i can consider moving this out oh it could be there so back to the main game with knight e3, king f3 and knight f5. Ooh, knight f5 seems interesting to me. But the variation said knight d1, king e2, king e2. This pawn is no longer can be saved, so he goes takes it. King d2, knight e4. Bishop takes d takes and king e3. It may say like goes here and maybe yeah it might be so bishop takes f5 g takes rook g king g3 rather rook takes check king h4 rook f3 oh this pawn is no longer can be saved variation says a6 king h5 b5 king g6 rook c6 King takes b4. Oh, b4. So it's a pass pawn. Rook h2, king f7. But white is still on a little bit of an advantage. As for me, I can say there and here. If here. He may say that like, he can take it and here. But you can take the freeway too. Oops. To the queen. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the main line with g6. And let's see what will ha what happens at the ending. Rook takes king g5, rook e4. Rook e4, not rook takes d4. Impressive. King f6, king g8, rook g7, king h8, rook takes, rook e8, king takes, rook e4, king f6, rook f4, king e5 g4 and then g7 if it takes it and takes takes and takes white is absolutely winning here let's go back g7 black instead goes king g8 and rook takes a7 rook g1 king takes rook c1 king d6 rook c2 d5 rook c1 rook c7 rook a1 king c6 and then in a few moves Ooh, d6 it they can go for like yeah no variation king d4 d7 and here white loss i mean white won jose raul capablanca won this game and yeah that is how the game ended how fam for Jose Raul Capablanca and Savielli Tarikower played in the year 1924, the year where FIDE was formed or was created. Okay, so that should be it for day one out of 100. Yes, we have 100 days to go before FIDE 100 this July 20. Thank you so much for watching, Pal Fan. Be sure to subscribe and become a Patreon member at patreon.com slash power subscribe to my vlog channel pal vlogs 
Follow me on Twitch, Paul Alvarados, X, Paul Alvarados, TikTok, Paul Alvarados, Instagram, Paul Power YT, Threads, Paul Power YT, as well as Facebook, Paul Power YT. And yes, let's go back at it in the next day in the year 1925. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for another countdown to FIDE 100 Day 2.